Hey guys, welcome back to the Pink Workshop. Today we're going to continue with our Jagacaster build. See if we can make this look a little bit more like a Jaguar by reshaping these horns. If that's something you'd like to see, stick around because we're getting started right now. All right. Yesterday I tried to cut some templates out of paper and trace my shape on here but it didn't work out the way I wanted to. So what I'm going to do is take this mock-up that I have. I took a picture of this Strat style body I bought on eBay and took a picture of a offset Jag style body and I adapted it and used some white out to uh, <clears throat> take out the parts I didn't want to see. What I'm going to do is just try to freehand this on here the best I can. I don't, I don't think the template idea was, was such a good idea. I already attempted this a couple times and erased it. Luckily it, this pencil erases nicely off this wood. It's, it's kind of hard to, to match the sweep of these curves. It's obviously not going to be exactly like a Jaguar because it's a different body shape. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. It's kind of light. I don't know if you can see that all that well, but looks pretty good to me. Gives me a starting point anyway. Now what I have to do is cut this off and cut this off and then we'll do some shaping with the wood. Uh, I have a variety of ways I could cut this uh, jigsaw. Uh, my scroll saw. But it's kind of hard to maneuver and I don't want to I don't want to take off more than I need to. So what I'm going to do is use my pull saw again and just take this off above that line and above this line so I leave enough on there that if I want to take more off I can but I don't take more off than I want to from the get-go so we'll get set up and start that process now I'm going to use some clamps to hold this down while I do the sawing use a little block of wood underneath the foot of the clamp to uh, kind of protect the wood a little bit from making marks in it. This is pretty soft wood. Kind of disappointed in how soft it is because it was supposed to be maple. fit on there. Just need it to basically sit still so it doesn't slide around while, while I'm cutting. Now I need to uh, put a clamp back here to make sure that this doesn't this top part of the table doesn't move because it is a sliding all right here we go it's uh it's all or nothing what i did just to double check myself here i'm gonna show you this quick uh when i did this 
drawing. I tried to measure across where the where the dips were and then I also tried to measure across where the tops were and it came in right under uh, I don't know if you can even see that it came in right under this hole right here so when I put this on here and line the tops of these up it comes in very close to that area. Uh, if I move it down a little bit, then I'm under the hole, which may, might mean that I might have to take a little bit more off of here than I'm going to do with the initial cut, but I have to start somewhere. So here we go. Wish me luck. Trying to make sure I'm going straight up and down. Now remember this, this cuts on the pull, not on the push. And it's nice and straight so far. This is cutting through this wood like butter. This, I, I really can't believe this is maple. Basswood, maybe I don't know. Paulina, Paul, Paulina, whatever that is. Possibly it's so light and soft, I can't even believe it. All right, yeah, shaking. Okay. Now I want to get this piece here and I kind of want to come up, I want to follow this curve up as much as I can. So I'm going to kind of sit the saw so, so it touches here, follows the sweep of the curve. I don't have a lot of room to play with here. No me, I'll probably knock the camera over. Yeah, see every time I hit the the body with the saw it's making a mark in it. Starting to regret this wood. Luckily, this saw is really sharp. Sweet. All right, one side is done. And I'll do the rest with my, uh, probably with my belt sander to smooth that out. All right. Round this off a little here, round this off, round this off. Should be good. Uh, now I'm going to do the other side, but I'm going to spare you the agony of watching and do that off camera. All right, guys, down in the basement workshop to do some sanding on this. I have to say I'm really more than a little bit disappointed in this wood. Uh, I, I cut the other 
piece off for this horn. And as I'm cutting, make the final stroke, I'm holding on to this piece. And when my saw comes through, I bumped it on the edge here and took a big chunk of wood right, right where the sweep comes up, where the neck comes in. And of course, with the, the neck I have, it's flush. The, the fretboard is flush with the neck flush in here. There's no overlap. So you can see it plain as day. So... That's going to be another project to uh, to fix, but uh, going to try to sand some of this stuff a little bit. Put my mask on, glasses, vacuum. It's going to be a bit noisy, so just hang in there. Mm, ready to operate. Oh, that's noisy. Okay, well, here's what's happening. Doing a fairly decent job. This wood's so doggone soft, uh, I have to watch that I don't do things like that. I put a little too much pressure on. But I'm starting to get that angle I want 
on there anyway. This one doesn't look too bad. But I think what I'm going to do is <clears throat> maybe touch a little bit more of this up on this guy. And then I'm going to do some, uh, some hand sanding, some other kind of techniques we'll look at to finish this off and uh, give it a little more professional look. And then we'll, then we'll look into doing something about that. Hang in there. Looking a little bit better. A little bit more like a uh, Jaguar style horn. At least this side is. This one I don't know about yet. I might have to do a little more adaptation here. Now I was thinking about taking some of this off up here. Uh, but this, this wood being as soft as it is, that idea scares me. So what I'm going to do is I have some, uh, some 180 grit sandpaper here. I'm going to start doing a little hand sanding on this. Uh, I think my best bet at this point would be to take care not to take too much off with that belt sander. So I'm just going to start with a small piece. I have blocks and things I can use too. Uh, Even like a small piece of wood like this, uh, just wrap the sandpaper around it like this, and then I can help with these edges here. And these parts too. This is so soft, I can't even, <laughs> I apologize for repeating myself so much, but I am honestly flabbergasted about this softness of this maple. If anybody out there knows if there is really a maple that's a soft, a, a soft maple, I know there's hard maple and there's soft maple. But the soft maple really this soft. It's coming along pretty well here. I Paper this a little bit, but I don't want to. I don't want to put the same amount of angle taper on as they have on this strap. here so that the curve smoothly runs straight up into that horn the more it's going to look 
like a jag, like an offset body. I keep saying Jaguar, so Jazzmaster, Mustang, they all have that offset type of body, even though they're each a little different in their own way. Wow, I thought this was going to be tough. The watch, though. They don't take too much off of either side. This is so soft, it just, this 180 grit paper just, it just rubs, it's like rubbing sand off your feet when you come off the beach, just whoop, comes right off. Pretty good, I think. And if we look at it this way, looks a little bit more like, uh, like this. At least the top part does, anyway. But all right, well, I'm going to continue to work on this and. Uh, Come back and we'll see what it looks like after I do a little bit more sanding. All right, gang. I think I'm finished sanding for the night. Uh, all in all, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, this top horn here, pretty satisfied with that. This one, not so sure. I might take a little bit more material off of that. I'm not really sure. Uh, I did take a little bit off of this too to try to give it a little bit more of that offset body style but I just did that with, with the sanding block actually I've been using the same piece of sandpaper that I cut earlier on this block it's, this wood is so soft it just it just uh, it took all that roughness out of the from the saw cuts and the uh, belt sander so all in all I'm happy I'm gonna move on to the next thing which well I do want to fix this but I might do that before we before we're ready to do the finish sanding before we put the finish on but the next thing I want to do uh, we got to get the neck on here and lined up so that we can put the bridge on and then everything starts to roll from there so Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you would like to see more of this build and more of uh, some other things coming up. I have a lot of nice projects coming up. I've been getting all kinds of stuff in the mail. So all kinds of parts and goodies for the future builds. So thanks for tuning in. See you next time.